the bombing of Chenes. At Chenes, on the 5th of June, 1917, at 5.25 in the evening, the sea was calm and the sky clear. Families promenaded along the seafront. Women and children were on the beach and soldiers back from the front and recovering from their wounds were sailing in small boats. One or two people began looking to the sky as a strange throbbing noise was heard. They didn't know it, but the noise was the twin engines of German Gotha bombers. When the sirens blared out their warning, and the six anti-aircraft guns at Barton's Point began firing, many of the people on the beach thought it was just another drill. Then they saw, high in the sky, 20 giant twin-wing Gotha bombers heading straight towards them. One of the bombers was hit by the Barton Point anti-aircraft guns, and to the cheers of the watching crowds, somersaulted out of the sky to crash into the sea. A number of motor launches, manned by sailors, raced to the spot where it had fallen. The pilot and observer of the German plane were dead, but one of the crew survived. And then the bombs began to fall. Five bombs landed in the dockyard, hitting the grand store, setting it on fire, smashing into number three dry dock, narrowly missing a ship and killing George Fryer, a dockyard worker. A 50 kilo bomb landed in Blue Town High Street badly damaging Greaves, the Royal Navy Outfitters, today the Blue Town Heritage Centre. The manager and two other people were killed. The building was wrecked. The shrapnel damage can still be seen today in the dockyard wall opposite. A bomb struck the goods office at Blue Town Railway Station, but didn't explode. Bombs fell over the Wellmarsh Army Camp, where the King's Royal Rifles were based, killing three soldiers and injuring two officers and six men. Other bombs fell on Botany Road Army Camp, where the 29th Battalion Middlesex Regiment was stationed, killing two men and injuring 11 more. Bombs fell on Coronation Road, close to number 27 and number 105, causing widespread damage and injuring two people. Bombs fell on Duttle's opening and Cavour Road, killing two naval officers. Bombs fell on Berridge Road, causing extensive damage. They fell on Unity Street at the rear of number 33 and 9. A bomb exploded in Invicta Road next to number 173, injuring three more people. Other bombs fell harmlessly on allotments and on Power Station Road. 34 50 kilogram bombs were dropped on Shenes and Bluetown, killing 11 people and injuring 27 others. Three Royal Naval Air Service aircraft from East Church got close enough to the departing Gothas to attack. Four 
Royal Flying Corps aircraft were unable to climb quickly enough to engage. The two German dead aviators were given full military honours. Their coffins were covered with the German ensign, taken to halfway graveyard on gun carriages pulled by British sailors. There were a number of other air raids on Schenes by German aircraft during World War I, notably on the night of the 5th of December 1917, German Zeppelin Stacken R6 bombed Schenes, killing four people in Invicta Road. On the night of the 28th of January 1918, German Gothers again bombed Schenes, killing two more people.